Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a follow-up on my color of my hair and what I did differently this time. Um, like you saw on my previous video, I dyed it, um, I actually did two processes, two steps, and I showed you guys on my video. I really didn't talk it through, I just speeded up and just showed you the products that I used and what I did. Um, obviously, I didn't stay the whole time on camera. I just speed up um, sections of the parts that I did. This time, I'm not going to really do it on my hair because I already did it. I am just going to show you the products that I used and the process that I did and the time that it took me to do it. So what I did was, is I took just another color because I was noticing that I had two colors in my roots and then I had the brassiness and then I had really blonde. And I was noticing in the weeks that passed, it only in two, the two weeks that passed, I was just not liking my hair. Um, so I'm going to show you now what I used. Again, it's very important that you have a plastic bowl to mix in the colors and then developer a brush and gloves. Also, make sure that you have a t-shirt that you just are not going to use and you can throw away, you know, whenever if it gets stained. Um, make sure that you do have a towel on the floor that you don't use for the same reason. If it gets ruined, it's going to be fine. The next thing that you're going to need is a developer. I used 20 and I use the color, what's this color? I used light medium intense ash brown from chrome silk so i actually used in this process i used one and a half ounces of the color and obviously you're going to use the same on the developer so i mixed that and i started my brush i mixed it and then what i did was i parted right in the middle and then I just took the dye and just only in the part all the way to the back both sides obviously and then in the front all the way down in both sides then what I wanted since I wanted the balayage effect and I already had it but you can tell the really really straight lines and I really didn't want that and you don't want that if you want to have that balayage effect you just don't want those harsh lines across your hair so what I did was is I separated like so and I pushed it to the front and I started coming this doing this motion so to the front and then obviously did like this all the way to the back and then I kept going the same same way all over my head forward and to the back why not like this because again you're gonna have that straight line and you don't want that if you go it if you do it forward what's gonna happen is when you push your hair back you're gonna see that cascade effect or that V effect so what did I do to take all this brassiness out? Okay, so when I was done, I actually left that color for 10, yeah, 10 minutes because it took me like five minutes to do my whole head. And then it just took me 10 minutes just to let it sit. Shower, and I only applied my regular shampoo. Now I use, this is the Every Straight Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo. Only I only applied this on my root where I dyed the color. And um, in the bottom part of the blonde, I used this shampoo. This is actually for blondes and silver hair. So this is the Shimmer Light Shampoo. So I applied this only on my ends and I applied this one on my roots. I let it sit there for five to six minutes and I just washed my hair like normal, rinsed, and I, I applied my conditioner from the same brand only on my roots. Um, again, this is the same brand as my shampoo. And then I applied the conditioner from Shimmer Lights 
on my ends and now this time I left it a little bit longer so I hope you guys like this video um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel again welcome and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video thank you so much for watching bye